Oh, Sir Percival. Well, what do you want? You didn't used to talk to me like that. And you used not to look like that. Oh. Going about the house like a glass of sour milk. Oh, for heaven's sake, girl, time be bright. You know why I'm unhappy, sir. I couldn't hear. <laughs> now what are you sniveling for? My mother. You haven't told her? No, sir, not a word. But she's begun to. She's asking questions. And you promised. I know, and I'll keep my word. We're going to leave all this, Jessica. You mean, elope and get married, and I shall be Lady Glyde? Yes, tonight. I'll take you to a place where you'll be nice and peaceful, where no one will ever know. You mean that, Sir Passive? Of course I mean it. Meet me at nine o'clock tonight in the old boathouse by the lake. Oh, that place scares me in daylight. But at night... But I shall be there, and then you won't be afraid, will you? Oh, no, Percival. I mean, sir. That's right. Then go and pack yourself a few things. You're going on a journey. Yes. A very long journey. <laughs> Here I am, my dear, waiting for you. I'm so glad you didn't keep me waiting. I was so afraid. But you're not afraid now, are you? Oh, no, sir. What do you do when you're afraid? Do you scream? Sometimes. Do you feel like screaming now? Oh, no. No, we mustn't make a noise or someone would hear us. And that would never do, would it? No, sir. But I needn't call you, sir, now we're going to be married, need I? Hadn't we better be getting along? Just one little kiss first. Percival, mm. you're hurting me! <laughs> <laughs> so you wanted to be a bride, my dear Jessica, did you? So you shall be a bride of death. <laughs> <laughs> 